Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. We'll see how these two teams play at the 27. Clemson's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Got an opening. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That'll make it second and seven. Taken down around the 41-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. Now it'll play action good for about four yards. Second and six. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. The defense was all over that draw play. And he had very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. It's third and seven. Ball on the 38. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. complete and he stopped immediately that's good for a game of five yards that brings up second and five nice run to the left there that's a game of seven on the play first down Nice run there. On the carry. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Tied right, tied right. Three down, three down. Hey, check right, check right, Mike six, Mike six. Go, check, go, check. Go, this is the breather. Russell, Russell, back up, back up. Yeah. Yeah. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. They'll knock him down for a loss. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Touchdown, Tigers. This 
kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Rebels had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. It felt as if the game rested on every play. The Sooners win it by three. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Perry has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Nice run there as they work the outside. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackle around the 35-yard line. He's tackled at the 46. Broadway taken down in the backfield. That was a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Number 57 brings him down at the 45-yard line. That'll make it 41. Makes it to the 31. Nice run up the middle. Throws a laser across the middle. Right down around the 12 yard line. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. He's in for the touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense fix. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a game of nine yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Leg six. 
Slings it out there incomplete. Chase the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 49-yard line. It's second down. Three down, three down. Hey, check it out. And down he goes at the 32. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Three down, three down. Mike six. Mike six. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. And he's immediately tackled. Henson makes the tackle at the 17 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike Six! Mike Six! And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike. Throws to the receiver and he's got it again. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike six. Mike six. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That is a loss of four yards. Of second and goal. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he's taken down at the four yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it third and goal. Hands it off. Touchdown, Clemson! Things can get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Gamecocks were ranked 18th. After that face plant, they'll be lucky to be ranked at all next week. And for Kentucky, they start the season with a victory. The Wildcats walk out with a seven point win. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese 14 7. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense can continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Looks like we're going to have a good game on our hands after one. The Tigers with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Got it, 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 35. Strike to his receiver, no good. Sims was the intended receiver on the play. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up. No good. He hooked it left. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Clemson is up a score. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's good for a game of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That brings up second and 13. From their own 44-yard line, second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. He sails it long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Ross was the intended target on the play. They're going to be forced to put it away here. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Miller is back to receive. And he has it on the corner. He's tackled at the 20-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he tries to buy some time. He'll take it himself. Slides down. that quickly incomplete well that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part and the bad news is there was no defender around if the pass was anywhere near him it could have gone for a big play so it's second and ten ball on the 35 tackle made around the 48 yard line Makes it out to about the 39. He scrambled. He's tackled in the open field. Gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. in the middle and he's level at the 25. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Here we go. And they'll get him in the backfield. That brings 
up second and goal. And he is drilled at the four. That makes it third and goal. of two on the run by the halfback. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and he got it. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the... And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Clemson's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. But it's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a star in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more. But still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. Throws it in a hurry. The tackle around the 31-yard line. Cullen with the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Clemson is up four. He's to the 40, and he tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. Game 14 on the play. First down. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. And he's tackled at the 42. Morris has the tackle at the 42 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 39 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And they got him for a loss. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and seven. Looks over the middle and it's picked off. And he hits him hard at the 37 yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Oh, dang, good. 94 of the night, 94 of the night. Check, check, check. That goal after a decent pickup. That's how we do, dude. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. First down. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37. Gets to about the 37-yard line. it out in a hurry touchdown saving tackle but it leaves him with a first and goal anytime a defense brings pressure like that the most important aspect isn't just the quarterback and the receiver and their execution it's the offensive line 
and their communication, even pre-snap read. Okay, here, if this blitz is coming, I've got to pick up him. And I thought that time they recognized the blitz, they communicated very well up front, everybody picked up their assignment, and it gave the quarterback the time to be able to read that defense and make that throw. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 13. That's a great tackle at the 11. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and goal. And he's hit immediately. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and he's got it. And Thomas has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. The Tigers' game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let it ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. They'll bring him down at the 37. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. That makes it So it's second two. down and about two yards to go. Clemson is up one. Flips it middle to the running back. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Clemson's going to have to use their second time out of the half. complete and taken down immediately. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. The Tigers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He's going to air it long. And it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. We played a half of football. The Tigers in front, 14-13. second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Great first half and a tight ball game and we're set to start quarter number three. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. He might have a chance. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Now 
he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And now he's got room to run. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. Randall gets six yards on the carry. That's a gain of six on the play. That brings up second and five. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. End zone, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They'll go for two in this situation. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. So the score now, 21-14. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. They'll bring him down at the 22. Pick off returns 22 yards. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. That makes it second and 14. From their own 18-yard line, second down. It's our time. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Kendrick, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. Miller, the return man. Oh, excellent punt. Miller fields it at the 35, gets to about the 47-yard line. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Larry, Larry. Get up. 94 is the mark. 94 is the mark. I can't believe you let you play. Yeah. Check, 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 check. Fires that quick 
quickly to the tailback. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. I got one, I got one. Four to five. Makes it to the 21. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he converts the extra point. Looks like there. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He gets sacked on the play. Second and long. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. Miller is back awaiting the punt. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 28. Pretty good job by the return man there. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Got an opening. And they push him out at the 22-yard line. I'm not sure the defender even saw that pass. It was lobbed so high. Great concentration to haul it in. At the 12. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That brings up second and one. 94 is the mark. 94 is the mark. I don't even know why this team showed up. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. He's tackled at about the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. That brings up second and goal. Ready. 
scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Duke Thomas ready to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26. The Tigers are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. Taken down in the backfield. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Throws complete. Big loss. be the return man. He's tackled at the 46. Clemson's done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game? Makes it to the 37. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That'll bring up second and three. Gets out to around the 18. That's good for the We've played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 35, 14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He makes it to the 15-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Gets rid of it quickly. Rose complete touchdown. He passes for his third touchdown of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he hits the PAT. The 
27 yard line. I tell you, you got to tip your hat to the defense. They played well today. Well, this defense has done everything that's asked to them. They've slowed down the opposing offense. They've created turnovers. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. In these last couple drives, they've just played probably the best they've played all game. I don't expect any once in a lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And he throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 27. He's going to try and scramble. There's a fumble. And the defense is on it. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's hammered. Clancy picks him up around seven yards with that catch. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Stop your whining. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down right around the 10-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Touchdown. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. He makes the PAT. So a short three-play, 36-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Slides down. Slides on the play. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes the first down catch. And down he goes. Right around the 42-yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Moves up, and the defense has got it. Loss of six on the play. Third down. And he's going to be sacked. They couldn't get him blocked up that time. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Miller back to return it. Yeah. 
And down he goes at the 34-yard line. And for McCormick, he's given the defense a lot to worry about. Boy, he's really the X factor. Just when the defense thinks they have him contained, he's able to break away and improvise and pick up 20 more yards running. And anybody watching this game who thinks his quarterback is simply a running quarterback better take note because he's proven here today that he can also throw the football. Here's another chance for him to rack up more rushing yards. I'd be shocked if they throw you know, if I'm calling the plays for this offense based on what happened last series, I just continue to go back and run the football. Force this defense to show that they have the ability to stop you from running before you adjust your own play call. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. And he's finally shoved out at the 23. That's a game of 43 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Let's see if they can build off that great run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. He's tackled at the 15. Randall only gets about a yard there on the draw. Now there's not much he could do to get away from that big defense alignment. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Catches it, but he steps out. He would have been better off letting that one go. That's a three on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Just under three to go in regulation. Kick is up, and he's got it. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Bulldogs come into today's game ranked third in the country, and for Georgia, their season starts with a win. Georgia gets the win by seven. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Every 25. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Hudson wins him down at the 32 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Check nine, check nine. He's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of yards. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Miller is back deep to return. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. I got to tell you, partner, I didn't see this coming at all. This is a shocker. I don't think anybody in the country anticipated this kind of performance. Not only are they going to win this game, but they're running away with it. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home. And, Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. 
Just over a minute left. He's taken down. Right around the 50. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Nice run there. Randall picks up five with the carry. That'll bring up third and four. 